Okay, in this video we're going to look at the Boba Fett figure, the Rep Archive line. So this is the Empire Strikes Back version of Boba Fett. Great looking figure. Because I've got this on the Empire Strikes Back 40th card, I thought I might as well open this one. It's no good keeping two, so I might as well see what this one's like. And yeah, so it shows you on the back the original packaging it came in. And that one's become quite valuable in the orange packaging. I mean, this is a nice packaging. It's got great image on the back. 2013 it originally came out. And there's the figure. So he's in these sort of greenish colors. Looks like a great figure. Comes with a rifle and the pistol. Yeah, so let's get this one out and have a good look at it. Final look at the card, front, back. Great image used, all the European warnings. Retro collection, archive. So here's Boba Fett in his inner tray, he looks great. Comes with the backpack. On the Return of Jedi version, it's a lot more colorful. There's the rifle, pistol. I think it looks great. So let's unpack him a bit further. Here's the figure out of the box. So it's quite nice, very nice actually. Some nice detailing on the helmet, on the body with the insignia. Great painting on the forearm. Nice piece of cloth. Great detailing all around the belt, the legs, the knees, tools and the shoes. Quite stiff though. Got mid crunch, wiki braids. Great looking figure this. They did a great job in 2013 when this originally came out. Got nice weathering on the helmet. All the sort of tarnishes and all that sort of stuff. On the armour, on the torso. Very great figure. Lots of dents and all that sort of stuff. Great looking figure this. So in terms of articulation, he's got a midsection crunch that crunches left and right forward and back legs go out this far got upper thigh cut there on both sides knees that i assume are doubled yep so they go that far back rocker ankles this one's a bit stiff actually. Rocker ankles. Upper thigh. Legs out that far. See the crunch at the back. Got to watch this arm here because there's an, a wire attached. So just be careful with that one. Pivot on the wrist, this one goes in and out, rotates around, at the shoulder it goes that high and should pivot fully around, pretty good articulation, same with this arm, goes all the way around, comes up to there. Obviously there's a new Return of Jedi Boba Fett, which is worth getting eventually. This up hand goes up and down as well. I mean it pivots like that forward, you can see the joint there. So great articulation, elbows go to almost 90, heads on the ball joint pivots at the top so you can get it 
that far back, that far forward, and some, you know, side to side as well. Great looking figure this. Yeah, great articulation on this figure. Okay, next we're gonna look at the accessories. So he comes with this rifle. Very nice piece, nicely painted. It's got sort of beige for the handle grip, some weathering on the barrel, silver paint, some the this bit's brown with silver highlights, nicely painted. Great looking piece. So that's a great piece there, the pistol. We shall see. So that's a nice sort of lighter brown with silver highlights for the barrel. It's a working holster as well. Quite a nice looking weapon there. And then the backpack itself. Very cool, nicely painted. Mostly green with some chipping here and there, silver paint. Some red highlights here and there. Very cool. I guess they just repainted this for the Return of Jedi version. Or is it that a new mould? Very cool. So let's put all the pieces on and have a good look at the figure. So that's about the best you're going to get with Boba Fett trying to hold the weapon with in the two-handed pose. You can sort of obviously he's not got the finger through the trigger because if you f have a finger through the trigger uh, it will just start to bend the, the stock of the rifle a bit so i mean that's sort of like like that keeps the weapon straight but, i mean if you had the other bounty hunters you could this would make a great display piece like them all lined up suckers fall on and all the so yeah it's great like that you can holster the piece of a gun there backpack goes in quite snugly so he looks pretty good like this I don't know about the uh, Return of Jedi version if that holds the re weapon um, more, you know, you can get it into the firing position. I don't think you can with this. Oops, bent the. Let's see. Well, you can get it up at least, and then let's see what we can do. Like that, maybe. So it's pretty good like that though. Very nice. So baby Boba Fett takes a few shots at Luke. Not bad. You can't bring it just because the way it's sculpted, there's not enough. You can't just bring that anything closer together to make him look like he's taking that's about the best you're gonna get which isn't bad I guess it's pretty cool like that Boba Fett can hold both weapons one in each hand the pistol and the rifle I think you can see that this is starting to bend there so you just gotta be a bit careful with that Looks pretty good like that. Got both fingers in the trigger. Great looking figure this. Very cool. Yeah, they've done a great job with this one. 
that's the Black Series 2013 Archive Boba Fett reissue. It's a great looking figure. It looks pretty great. Displays really well. Very cool figure. Yeah, great piece. So you can get this in the 40th anniversary collection as well for the Black Series. See all the sh sort of scuffing on the back of the helmet as well. Very nice. Here's a good look at the cloth piece he comes with. I mean, this figure was done, used as the basis for the prototype Boba Fett as well. The San Diego Comic Con exclusive, which goes for a lot of money now. It's got a sort of British brown stripe with beige uh, as the main colour. See the Mandalorian sign there with the detailing on the wrist gauntlet. Great. It must be the flamethrower there. So it's a highly detailed figure and loads of pouches and stuff like that. So I think the Return Jedi one doesn't have these pouches here, these two. And it's got more, it hasn't got these pouches either, it's got more like a reddish brown cloth there. Great looking figure though. So, great for toy photography, great for display, <laughs> great for play, dare I say. Such a cool figure. Very nicely sculpted. Hasbro just knocked this out of the park, really. I mean, at least with this version, there's no issues with the helmet being misshapen by the packaging, which is a problem with the Return of Jedi version, the six inch back series. But the vintage collection version of the Return of Jedi figure is amazing as well. So great, I mean that's great. See how it reflects the light in the visor. Very cool. Such a cool figure. Okay, so let's compare it to some other Black Series figures to get an idea of size. Okay, this is the Black Series Boba Fett Empire Strikes Back version next to the basic 3.75 Boba Fett that came in the two pack. This is an excellent figure. It's only 5 PRA, but the detail on it is just amazing. Great looking figure, this one. Should still be able to find this one quite cheap. But it's a great sculpt. Looks great. So just for comparison's sake, compare the two figures. great together all sculpting detail on both just amazing let's just straighten that one next to it two really cool Boba Fett figures so if this one's a bit expensive you should try and find that one that's a great little figure that one Did a great job with that even though it's a 5 pure figure it's great for play display and all that sort of stuff all right so the boba fett scales nicely with the black series sand trooper greedo and han solo which are all 2013 issues as well really early figures so yeah they look great together i mean i think the han might be slightly taller yeah Sand Trooper and Boba Fett are about the same height. Greedo as well. So yeah. I almost got a chance to buy him in 2013 but uh, I messed it up. I went back the next day and they were gone. So to the shop which was Toys R Us in those days in Whiteleys. And I 
should have went the same day I saw him, but... Oh dear, I didn't expect him to go sell so quickly. Yep, nice, they look great together. Here's uh, Boba Fett with Landau Christie in the first version. He's been improved since in the 40th anniversary. He's got better face paint now and comfortable Zuvio from the Force Awakens line. So yeah, they look good. I mean, I'll, I'll put him in there because he sort of the design influences probably more with the Return of Jedi Boba Fett, the red gauntlets, but still there's that sort of Fett influence on uh, Constable Zuvio. But yeah, Zuvio's a lot shorter. Lando's a bit shorter as well. So yeah, they look great together. Here's some more Boba Fett comparisons. We've got the Disney, I don't know what series they call this, Disney figure done in that sort of gaming style they did. We've got the Hero Masher, Hasbro Hero Masher. So that's definitely an Empire Strikes Back Boba Fett. This one's probably more of a Jedi, Return of Jedi version. So, yep. And then we've got the 3.75 there. And the Black Series as well. So they're just, you know, everyone loves Boba Fett. So let's have a quick look at this one. Yeah, this is the Return of Jedi version. You can tell by the backpack. The more blue used in the outfit. Rather than the grey. Yep, the gum. Very similar. Cool figure though. Got the Mandalorian insignia there. That insignia there. Very stylized figure, very thin body. Quite good for display though. Probably hard to find that one now. Then we've got the Empire Strikes Back version of the. This one came in a four pack. So he's got the gun, got the firing rocket. It's a great effect there. Got the insignia there. There as well. Green backpack. Very simplified figure. But good one for display. Quite heavy, almost as big as the six inch black series. Well, a little bit shorter, but you know, quite a good display piece. And then this uh, Disney figure, pretty cool. So they look great together. Yeah, so I hope you like looking at that Black Series Boba Fett. I'll just do a little summary and then we're finished. So we've been looking at the Boba Fett Archive series. That was £20 at uh, Forbidden Planet couple of years ago I opened this one because it's been redone in the uh, 40th anniversary Empire Strikes Back line that's the original pack in there it's a great piece figures great looks really good you know it's got plenty of display options be careful with the trigger fingers they seem a bit weak if you ask me I always say that but you know you don't want it snapping off it's a great figure. I mean, the amount of detail on this figure is just amazing. Does it say 20? Can't even see with my eyes. 2013, yep. So it's got 2013, made in China. Very cool figure. Obviously the Return of the Jedi version, which is a deluxe figure, is the one to try and track down. But I think most people will want both versions of Boba Fett, the Star Wars, I mean Return of the Jedi and the Empire Strikes Back version. This is the Empire Strikes Back version. There's a good look at the holster. Nice working piece there. All the detailing on the figure, all the scuffs. On the, you know, on the armour, just look amazing. So such a great figure.
very photogenic. I mean, for £20, you can't go wrong with this. Just an amazing piece. But yeah, great looking figure. So if you can find one still, I'd definitely recommend the Empire Strikes Back 2013 version of Boba Fett. Looks great. Okay, so I hope you like this review. Cheers, goodbye.